Quiet for... We're on the set of Thoroughbred, which is my debut feature. Frank, five, Baker, take one. Alex Sachs and ICM sent us the script just as a sample, and it was a play at that point. And the play was extraordinarily well written. Just a, a really deep and emotional piece, very grounded. We were immediately hooked and wanted to do this movie. Thoroughbred is about two very different teenage girls who used to be very close and have since taken very different paths. I'm better at applied skills. I think my best option at this point would be to skip college and just sort of Steve Jobs my way through life. Totally. I started realizing how inherently cinematic this story was and started realizing that sort of all along I'd been kind of thinking in close-ups and wide shots. As soon as I started seeing it as a film, visual aesthetic started clicking much more easily. And action. Corey, as soon as I met him, had the calm and control of someone who has been doing it for a long, long time. He just kind of oozes confidence. Corey is wonderful. I mean, from the second he stepped on set, it's like he's been here his entire life. It's a pleasure to come to work with him every day. He's incredibly insightful, very smart, very collaborative. Also, I mean, as a writer, he's phenomenal. One of the things that's most special about him, and there are not a lot of directors that are like this, he has an openness to the creative process. He's open to other people's ideas. He's really interested in figuring out what is the best way to shoot this? What is the best way to perform this scene? What is the best way to find the truth? Okay, shall we? Hey guys, what did you think of that video? Now, stay with me as I have a pretty interesting behind the scenes fact for you. Now, a lot of work goes into the making of movies and sometimes accidents can happen during production. The largest number of fatalities ever in a production of a film occurred during the shooting of the 1931 film Viking, when a ship they were shooting from exploded in the ice of the coast of Newfoundland. 27 people died, including producer and co-director Varike Frixel, as well as collaborator A.G. Penrod. The incident is one of the most infamous in movie history, and the film was made in tribute to those who lost their lives. The opening cards describing the accident and the film are genuinely touching. On that sad note, I will leave you and remind you that we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. See you soon.